It looks like Pete Jakes thinks the field is in playable condition. Pete Jakes and Barry Norton on the officials, Calvin Gastine at Clinton Community College, uh, uh, Bluff Point, just outside of beautiful downtown Cliff Haven, New York. And we are here for Junior College Women's Soccer. It's the Word of Life Huskies and the home team, the Clinton Community oh. College Cougars. Not sure who all is here for Clinton. I know they've got uh, a lot more names than they have players. We'll give you the quick list of their roster. Kim Dragoon is number two, Danielle Woodruff three, Emily Lashway four, Shawnee Trombley five, Brooke Waite is 10, Erin Terry 11, Kelly Lucia is the goalie, uh, Sarah Labarge 14, Kaylin Scott 15, Megan Bashard 17, Jen Fountain 20, Paige Aldridge 22, Cody Holland is 23, Brittany Goodrow is 24, Chelsea Jebo is 26, and Nikki Fountain is 28. Word of life, uh, unless somebody scores, we're probably not going to be paying much attention to the numbers. We're trying to learn the Cougars. If by some chance we learn the Cougars before uh, halftime, then we'll try to give some play-by-play uh, -play on the on the Huskies. But uh, when you're doing this and uh, running the camera and talking at the same time, it's not always easy to be looking up a number while you're trying to uh, keep your eye on, the, on what's happening on the field. Uh, Carolyn Chayo Charo is the uh, keeper. She's from Brooklyn. Beth Rose, Bethany Rose is from Gansvert. She wears number three. Kara Long is from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Wears number four. Laura Trudell is from Burke, New York. Wears number six. If Tyro shall go on the field, she'll be wearing number eight. Beth Sewell Seawall is from Pottersville. She's uh, right there in the Word of Life area. She's number nine, and Sarah Donnelly, also from Pottersville, is number ten. So we have a couple of real locals, and of course, uh, we also got one from Burt and from Gansvert. Be a corner kick. Uh, let's see, we got the Pottersville girls from uh, Yorktown, Virginia. Sarah Horton, number eleven. Uh, Mariah Pelton is number twelve. She's from Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. Taylor Herbert is from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. She wears 13. From, uh, Pelton, uh, not sure. I mentioned she may wear number 12. Uh, uh, keep an eye on the happenings here. Uh, let's continue. Rachel Farrar is from West Boylston, Massachusetts. She wears number 14. Elizabeth Kaufman is number 15 from Ashland, Ohio. Catherine Kostusik is from Winterport, Maine. She's number 16. And Courtney Keller from Newark, Delaware. Not Newark, New Jersey. Newark, Delaware. She wears number 24. And with that said, we will try to keep track of the Cougars. That's the reason we're here, after all. There's a high kick to Holland. Holland pushes it up to Kim Dragoon. Drag now back to Bayshard. Bayshard back to Dragoon. And the ball is sent forward into the box. 35 minute halves instead of the usual 45 minute. Word of Life has just the necessary 11 players. And the Cougars have just one sub, so they're playing a little shorter schedule at the request of Word of Life. That shot was by Bayshard. Here's the, the goal kick. It's the 20. No, the 30th. We're all out of 20s now. We're in the 30s. 30th of September. Last day of September 2009. Shot there by Shawnee Trombley. And she'll go take the corner kick. Trombley, of course, from John Deere Hill. And uh, shot by Holland. Another corner kick. And if you want to know where John Deere Hill is, you have to go to Ingraham. <laughs> You're probably not going to find Ingraham in a map either, so you <laughs> go go down uh, Route 9, uh, head north toward Shazy, and after you, a little while after you pass the Beatman Town town line, you'll be in Shazy, and you'll be uh, at Ingraham. Woodruff in the corner. One of the players that I was hoping would be here 
There's probably not. I didn't really see her out there when the cougar, cougars were warming up. And that's uh, uh, Emily Lajway. We came here last year hoping to find Emily in action. She was out with an injury. Not sure if she's out with an injury again this year or if she might be on the field and I haven't seen her yet. But uh, I don't see her familiar number four out there anywhere. Ball comes into Bayshard. Bayshard back into the corner. Trombley. Chiro makes a stop with uh, Holland charging in. And it'll be a punt uh, for the Huskies. Ball stopped. And the Husky end is kicked out of bounds. And we'll have a blue throw thrown in by Trudell. And we'll have a player down. Dragoon back on her feet. Dragoon, of course, the high scorer at uh, Northeastern Clinton last year. This is Goodrow, Brittany Goodrow from Shazy. We'll put it in play. Just missed her. Barely missed her 1,000 points in high school basketball. Shazy. There's Trombley. We could have been at uh, Beaton Town tonight. Uh, at a 4:30 game there. Northeastern boys at Beaton Town should be a good one. We had some stuff to do in Plattsburgh, and we thought, well, we'll stick around. Don't get too many opportunities to get the Cougars, and we want to. Want to get them? We want to get them for uh, our supporters. That would be uh, certainly the Dragoon family. Kim Dragoon's father, Mike, uh, handed us uh, his viewer patronage support earlier in the week. And we appreciate that. Or maybe it was late last week. Might have been at the uh, Ticonderoga game. And then. Uh, we got uh, uh, Barcombs TV is a, a faithful supp a supporter. Yeah. It's uh, Tuesday Goodrell's uh, family. And Dean Lajway did us a nice favor back when we were trying to get the Bob Ben Park. Uh, done. He did a nice job of uh, surveying it for us. Uh, Dean Lajway, Surveyor Supreme. We wanted to try to get his daughter Emily here, but uh, that didn't work out. And, and uh, of course, Megan Bashar. We got to Frank Dumas, who's always uh, supporting us a couple, a couple of times a year. So we have reason to be here. And we appreciate the ones who support our efforts. That's going to be in. A goal, the Trombley, looks like it was Shawnee Trombley, pumping it in for the Cougars. 27-52 on the scoreboard, so the subtracting down from 35, so that would be a 6, uh, what do they say, 52, 608, or 708, 708. 708 into the game. Cougars have scored. That's uh, Scott, Kaelin Scott, Bobcat. Now Cougar. There's 14 Farrar with the ball for the Huskies. Sends it deep. Goodrill sends it forward. And it's taken away, taken away from Dragoon. Dragoon might take that personal. Yeah, Trombley. Over to uh, Woodruff. Another reason we'd like to cover the Cougars because uh, Donna Dixon, uh, the head coach here, uh, she was awfully 
awfully good to, to our daughter Danielle when she played basketball for Donna here at uh, Clinton. Yeah, we certainly appreciate uh, uh, Donna. And she's assisted by Mel Defiant. Dragoon sends it up to the 18, cleared out by the Huskies. Along the far line, they carry it. Remember the Huskies with no substitutes, Cougars with just one. That goes back to Lucia. Yeah, punt it, and a good punt goes right to midfield. Stopped by Holland. Holland will carry it. Uh, Holland keeps it. Is it over to Woodruff? Balls up to the 18. What was that? 22. It's uh, Aldridge for the Cougars. Bayshard over. Is back to Scott. Scott pushes it over, looking for Dragoon. Ball was taken away by Donnelly, and it'll be Scott Wood to throw. Good row. Is it wide? And Woodruff so it kicks it back. Now it's kicked forward. Up to Dragoon. Dragoon carries it to the 18. Still got control. Carries it in. <laughs> there shouldn't be any assist on that one now. <laughs> the Kim Dragoon show. She just sliced through there. Look like Kayla Rabidou from uh, Northern Adirondack on that one. That was 24-43, so that's 10 minutes and 17 seconds. Into the first half, it's 2-0 Clinton. We got there, number 11, that's uh, Aaron Terry. Uh, Shawnee Trombley sends it up. Over to to uh, Woodruff. Quickly thrown in by the Huskies. Bayshard passes it back for control to Terry. Terry turns on it. <coughs> Huskies take it away. Now it's kicked forward by you know, 20 Fountain. Ball comes to Holland. That's uh, picked up by number nine, Seawall from uh, the Huskies. Word of Life Bible Institute in the Clinton Community College here and on Hometown Cable. On a, Welcome to folks who are watching us on the internet from around the Northeast. Hopefully all the Word of Life uh, young ladies got word to their fans and friends and family back home to uh, check out uh, Plattsburgh.com or HometownCableNetwork.com and see what's available. Husky's on the attack. Goodrow's got other ideas. And she is tripped. Let the record show it was Mariah Pelton who did the tripping. And the ball's put back in play. And we'll have a blue throw. Last day of September 2009. Overcast. We had rain earlier today. More rain on the horizon. Not just for today, but the next few days. Aldridge with the throw. Dragoon keeps it going. Back to Dragoon. And she is tripped up. And Chiro will make the, the stop. 
There's a punt. Bayshard. <laughs> I think she was trying to settle it, not one time it. Scott will take the throw. That scream is the whistle announcing a sub. Let's see who's in over there. 28. 28 is Nikki Fountain. Trombley with the throw. Ball bounces off Trombley. Bayshard gets a foot in on it at midfield. Tried to go wide was Holland. Holland gets a foot, takes it away from Trudell. And it's kicked out of bounds by Keller. Bayshard will take the throw. There's Dragon. Oh, off Dragon. Handball. Uh, trying to protect yourself. And who can blame her? Dragon gets called for the handball. Uh, turn and shot by number 22, Aldridge. Uh, as we're taping this, we saw number 22 score twice last night. And a similar type of shot, uh, turn and fire shot, two of them. That was Mary Elizabeth Frankie, Northeastern playing Northern Adirondack. Check it out. It's available on the websites, Plattsburgh.com, HometownCableNetwork.com. Check it out. See for yourself. The, uh, those two shots. Uh, Excellent, excellent shots by uh, me, Frankie. Trombley throws it in to Dragoon, passes back. Trombley. Short pass looking intended for Dragoon. It's taken away by Ferrar. All comes up to Holland. There's Dragoon, she comes wide. Scott gets there, nice nice job of faking out to the defender. Good ball, nobody there, good serve. Still, no, it's out. So we have a goal kick, stopped by Dragoon. Dragoon over to Trombley. Probably sends it through wide for Holland. Holland will turn it. Not in time. We're approaching the 18 minute mark. Scott going back for it. Back to Goodrow. That's kicked forward. Uh, kicked back to Dragon by Aldridge. Here's Trombley. Back to Trombley. Dragon's gonna get another shot. No offside, uh, Aldridge. It was right there. Couldn't quite turn on it. Bayshard. She's tripped. Dragon takes it. Cougar throw. Thrown into Bayshard, 16 and a half left in the first half. 2-0, Clinton leading Word of Life. 
Dragoon goes wide to Trombley. Dragoon and Trombley, the goal scorers thus far. Bayshard. Holland passes back. Bayshard gets control, passes back, and not sure if that was good row kicked it. White throw. Blue throw. John Lee tosses it in. Approaching the 15 minute mark. Trombley sends it up. 18. Scott is there. And it's cleared. Headed back by Bayshard. Scott passing back to Dragoon. That'll be a goal kick. Uh, Sewall will take it. Goodrill sends it up to Scott. Now uh, back to Scott from Dragoon. Dragoon passes to Trombley. Trombley passing to Dragoon. Dragoon can't quite square up on it. That's cleared. Uh, the corner kick. Uh, cleared out. Number 12, that's uh, Pelton. Ball comes. Holland, Holland sends it up to Aldridge. That shot was just wide. Scott with the throw. Aldridge with the throw, but we have a sub. So Scott will take the throw as soon as she stops yawning. Waiting for Pete Jakes to give the word. Rolls it to the 18. Dragon. And Scott throws it in the box again to Dragon. Oh, what a shot by Kim Dragon. Wow. Give Scott an assist on the throw. 3 nothing Cougars. So it was 11.17 on the clock, so counting down from 35. That sounds like 23.43. There's Scott. Scott carrying it. Being challenged by uh, Trudell. Here's ball deflects to the keeper. Tyro will pick it up. I think it was deflected a little bit by Keller. Punts it right to me. Almost. Holland back to Scott. Scott up to Dragoon. Now back to Scott. When uh, NAC had Scott, Rabadou, and Lajway on the field at the same time, they had a a lot of speed and a lot of threats for quick goals.
Trombley to Dragon. Dragon lofts it. Bayshard back to Scott. Scott crosses it. Tyrell gets a fingertips on it and able to corral it. So we bring it out near the 18. Punt it. Drifts toward our way. And Bayshard gets control. Bayshard to Dragoon. And Dragoon shoots it wide. Less than nine remaining in the first half. Free kick taken by Fountain. They're going back to Bayshard. Bayshard goes wide. Scott puts it in the air. Trombley over, passing it back to Holland. Holland back to Bayshard, back to Holland. And back to Trombley, he's on this side now. Scott. Bayshard with a corner. We're approaching the seven minute mark. Cougars just missing. Ferrar with another goal kick. Bichard sends it back. 24 is Keller giving chase. Scott takes the throw. Trombley has it taken away. Good effort there by Donnelly for the uh, Huskies. There's Scott chipping it. Bichard back to Scott. There we go. Uh, where's the, the halves? Here comes Bayshard. Over to Scott. At the 18. Trombley will track it down. Trombley with a short pass. They're trying to pass it back to her. Trombley. We got 28 is up there for the Cougars. It's Fountain. There's uh, 11. That's Terry. About five to go in the first half. There's a throw. Fountain. Is it Fountain? Yep, yeah, Fountain. Trombley with the throw. Goal kick. Bayshard has scored. Megan Bayshard makes it four nothing. Four oh three remaining. Bayshard in the first half. John Blee. Terry passing to Bayshard. There's uh, Jen Fountain. There's two fountains here. That's what confused me. Bayshard over. Headed by, by uh, Holland. Aldridge sends it to the center of the field. Huskies pick it up. Trombley gets a foot. Trombley again. Uh, 
junior college women's soccer from the last day of September 2009. Beautiful downtown Cliff Haven up at Bluff Point here. Overlooking beautiful Lake Champlain. Sent back by Fountain. Quickly thrown in. And another throw. In the corner, 11 is Terry. Under two to go in the first half. Terry there. And it's a cougar throw. Bayshard picks it up. Bayshard up to Fountain, Nikki Fountain. Taken away. Good row. Keeper picks it up. Alicia hasn't had much chance to touch the ball. We're down to one minute in the first half. Four nothing Cougars. Bishard. Trombley. Handball. Fountain with the restart. Up to Scott. Tyro just able to get a hand on that one. That's going to run out the clock. It's 4 nothing at the half here on viewer-supported hometown cable. Where's the horn? There it is. Second half is underway in this Junior College women's soccer game. Clinton being visited by a word of life. Took her eye off the ball for a second to adjust the camera and Cougars almost scored on us. So they better not do it with the camera off. They scored enough with the camera on. But they don't need to score with the camera off. Blue throw. 35 minute halves because of the uh, lack of players on both teams. Word of life with just 11 players. And Clinton has exactly one sub. Tyro makes the stop. Terry will take the throw. And the Dragoon, taken away by the Huskies. This is Fountain. Over to Goodrow. Bayshard. <laughs> Brooklyn. 11, that's... Uh, oh. Who's from Brooklyn? Gyro's from Brooklyn. Okay, yeah. Or the life players were calling somebody Brooklyn out there. So I figured it was a girl, the woman from Brooklyn, but it wasn't. Bayshard's going to get a shot. Uh, goal kick. Dragoon, passing wide. This 22 is Aldridge. That'll be another goal kick. Ball stayed in. September 30th, 2009, overcast. 
rain earlier and we'll have rain later, but so far nothing in this game. Bayshard will take the throw. Trombley giving chase. Kicked wide by Scott. Dragoon puts it in front of the net. And where's the ball? There it is. Back for Terry. Bayshard keeps it in play. Bayshard with a throw. Trombley. Trombley again. Passing back. But for whoever was calling for it was a little far away. She called for it. Should have been in better position. That was Lucio. So we have a new goalie here. We have a new goalie. Lucio's on the field with the orange socks over there. So we don't know who's in goal. A goal kick. We're five and a half minutes into the second half. Four nothing. Clinton leading word of life. Back to Goodrow. Goodrow up. Um, Lee over to Scott. On the wing, who we got here? Three, that's uh, Woodruff. Goodrow gives to Lucia, back to Goodrow. Over to Trombley. Viewer supported local television, hometown cable. If you're watching this on cable or the internet, we could use your support to keep this programming coming. Here's Bayshard. The Dragoon. There's a goal kick. Headed by Bayshard. Referees today. We have Barry Norton and Pete Jakes. Bayshard. A corner to uh, Eldridge. Eldridge keeping the ball. Bayshard will try to cross it, does. Chipped. Charo with the stop. Lucia. That's blue throw. Bayshard. Trombley penetrating, shoots and puts it in. Shawnee Trombley makes it 5 nothing. What a great individual effort. 26-31 on the game clock left in the game. So that's 8 minutes and 29 seconds. 26-31 makes it 8 minutes 29 seconds into the second half. Cougars have scored to make it 5 nothing. Scott gets a foot on it. John Lee with the throw. Tosses it back to Fountain. Over to Bayshard. She goes over to Goodrow. Terry. Terry looking for Lucia. Now up 
to uh, Woodruff. How about that? Right place, right time. Paige Aldridge with a goal, make it 6 nothing. 9.42 into the second half. 6 nothing. Cougars. Aldridge. Ball didn't go out. Ragoon caught up with it, passed it to Scott, I guess. Looked like for sure the ball was going out, and all of a sudden Dragoon was on the ball, passing it to Scott, and it's 7 nothing. Twenty-four forty-nine, so ten minutes eleven seconds into left into the second half. Yeah, Cougars have already scored three in this half. Lucia back. Fountain. Terry sends it forward. Up for Woodruff. the base shard. There's a goal kick. Up to Terry. Terry with a low pass. Huskies will try to clear it out. Trombley gives it to base shard. Scott moves it up, the Dragoon. Now Lucia over. Trying to figure out who the goalie is. I haven't seen 23 Holland out in the field, so maybe it's Holland. Is uh, Donnelly. Probably with the throw. Now going goes wide. Once again, the ball disappearing over the horizon here, and we see it going downhill, but. There's more field over there than we can fathom from this side. White throw. Goodrill trying to get a shot off. Passed back by Woodruff. What do we got here? Dragoon. Uh, Bayshard. Less than 20 to go. Headed by Terry. I take it away from Goodrow. Is Trombley stepping up? Goodrow passes to the middle. Dragoon passing to Goodrow. To the corner to Dragoon. Bayshard. Now Dragoon. Headed 
to the keeper. Uh, item 20, Gen Fountain. Lucia giving chase. Blue throw. There's Bayshard. Trombley. Nice job. Nice Shawnee Trombley. Trombley with the throw into good row. Tyro pulls it out. Lucia, Lucia carrying it. The ball comes to midfield. Trombley. Trombley. Good row crosses it. And a goal kick. Huskies try to clear it. Stopped by Trombley. To Bayshard. Dragoon. And the goal kick comes out. Stopped by the Cougars. Uh, La Fountain. And we got the Woodruff. Back to Fountain. Back to Woodruff. And Terry steps up. Blue throw. Bayshard. Up to Dragoon. Over the top. Goal kick. Chipped in by Bayshard. There's a corner kick. Bayshard takes it. Goodwill shoots it. Bayshard will take the corner. Dragoon. Passing back. And over there. Good row. Can't keep it in. And a goal kick. Stopped by Trombley. Throw comes back to Trombley. Off the foot of Seawall, thrown in by Trombley. Now Bayshard with the throw. Intended for a good row. She gets there. Dragoon. And a goal kick. It comes to drag to a Bayshard. Throw for a word of life thrown in by Donnelly. Now Trombley with a throw. Terry chips it. Trombley. 
Trombley. Goodrow. Uh, less than 11 to go in the game. 7 nothing. Clinton leading word of life. Last day of September 2009. Goodrow in the corner. Back to Bayshard. Tyro makes a stop. Bishard. Bishard sticks with it. Bishard dancing around it. Showing off the fancy footwork. Not wearing her pink shoes, though. Kick back there by uh, Donnelly. But the Cougars get it. Trombley up to Bayshard. Less than 10 to go in the game. The ball didn't go out. And the Huskies got it back here. Blue throw. Taken away by Terry. They got Fountain helping out. They shard up the wing. Blue throw. Fountain. Good row with a shot. And a goal. Mickey Fountain makes it. 8 nothing with 8.40 on the clock. Lucia back in. Fountain to Lucia. Aaron Terry with a throw. Back to Trombley. Catching up with it is Woodruff. That's blue throw. Now Fountain with a throw. Dragon. Fountain with a shot. Goal kick. 7.20 left in the game. To Woodruff. Now Fountain. They're going with the corner. That's a goal kick. A little over six remaining. Terry carrying it. Ferrara puts it in play. Ball gets by Trombley. And Holland comes out. And boots it. Boots it way down the field. Good kick. White throw. And a good row. Ball stayed in play. Trombley. Goodbye, Dragon. 
Terry sends it. Lucia tracks it down in a corner. Approaching the four minute mark. Here's a goal kick. Donnelly couldn't quite keep it in. A throw by Terry. Fountain. Woodruff. And ball hits the corner and finds the back of the net. Who did it? And Jen. Jen Fountain, I guess. 9 nothing with 3.29 on the clock. There's Lucia. And taken away by Donnelly. Donnelly to uh, Seawall. Uh, the saved by Lucia. She gets by Trudell. Trudell still battling her. Two fifty two left in the game. There's Scott. Scott in the corner. If you're on the field uh, playing for Clinton, you want another goal. If you're coaching for either team, you, you don't. <laughs> I don't think and Terry sends it up. I don't think uh, Coach Dixon would be mad if her team scores, but I think she's satisfied with a 9 nothing lead. Ball stays in. Terry steps in front. Donnelly will take the throw. About a minute 20 to go. There's Terry. Lucia. Gets it to Dragoon. 106 remaining. Dragoon wanted that one. She wanted it. 10 nothing. 54 and a half remaining. Word of Life playing with just 11 players. Cougars with just 12. September 30, <laughs> 30th, 2009. Here's Fountain. Lucia is going to get a goal? No. Saved by Chiro. 20 seconds to go. Carried by Suwal. Suwal. And that's going to be the ball game. 10 nothing. Clinton Community College defeats Word of Life, and that's the way it was in Junior College Women's Soccer on this 30th day of September 2009. Thanks for watching. For those of you supporting viewers, supported local television, Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw. TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.